Apple was killed in a car crash. News 12's Tama Ponton live at Seaford High School where the victim went to school. Tama. Well, Doug, the students here tell me this is a close knit community here in Seaford and they say all of them, the students, the teachers and the staff, they are shocked and heartbroken over Angelia Dominguez's death. I feel bad for the people who were friends with her and impacted the most, especially for her family too. There is an outpouring of support today across Nassau County for 16 year old Angelia Dominguez at Seaford High School, where she was a student. There was a moment of silence today to honor Angelia and her family. We came into our class and the first thing I noticed was my math teacher was tearing up. In Old Brookville, there's a memorial tied to a tree alongside Chicken Valley Road. It is on this road near the intersection of Brookville Lane, where Nassau police say Dominguez lost control of a 2008 Nissan she was driving and hit a tree around 3.30 a.m. Sunday. She was pronounced dead at that scene. Three teenage boys, a 14, 15, and 16-year-old who are students at Hicksville High School were also in the car and injured in the crash. The Hicksville superintendent says school psychologists and counselors are available for students or staff who may need help with their grief. And here at Seaford High School, officials have activated their crisis intervention plan for students and staff. And the people in the South Shore community are rallying around Angelia's family. This GoFundMe was set up today in her memory. The goal was to raise at least $3,000. But just hours after it was posted, the total quickly climbed to well past that goal. And I just checked the GoFundMe. That total now sits at more than $9,500. Doug? Wow, terrible story, but good to see all that support. Uh, Tama, what about the accident? Do we know the details of what happened or how it happened? Well, Nassau police say the crash is still under investigation, but the students here at this school and some of the neighbors in Old Brookville tell us they have concerns about that road where the crash happened, and they say they too are looking forward to some answers. We did reach out to Old Brookville officials about that road, but we didn't hear back. Doug? Okay, thank you, Tama. Well, new data tonight giving us a look at just how dangerous roads across our country have become. More than 31,000 people were killed in crashes between January and September of last year. That's down slightly from the year before, but fatal crashes involving people on bicycles, motorcycles, and on foot all went up. And lives, boy, they could be in jeopardy tonight in California yet again. That's where residents are.